us hear music and some of us feel it. According to Michelle, DJ Sean definitely falls into the latter category. And here's why. Michelle jetted up to Josie to meet DJ Sean. Having always walked to the sound of her own drums, Sean Pillay's single-minded mission is living a life filled with passion and soul-enthused creativity, impacting the world one frequency at a time. As South Africa's number one female Indian techno DJ, I'm curious to find out what keeps the beat alive. From reggae and soul to blues, R&B, hip-hop, hard rock and jazz, it really doesn't matter what the genre may be, but Sean will pick up the beat. As she says, music gets her soul dancing. But techno really gets her deck spinning. It was no problem for Michelle to find Sean's studio because he just had to follow his ears and let the groove take over. <laughs> That's the best moves I can give you. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. And Angie, Mitchell. How are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. In your DJ box? In my haven. <laughs> What's it like standing on that side? Well, this is my office daily. <laughs> it's an amazing feeling. You just it's you and the music and you get lost in it, really. What brings a Durban overport lady all the way to Josie? The camera lights and action <laughs> kind of city. No, not at all. I moved up here many years ago and I've been in corporate and my DJ journey really started about two years ago. Well, as cool as your DJ booth is, let me take you to my place of work, which is typically a couch, shall we? Let's go. With a grandfather who won a gold medal for his talent on the tabla, Sham really does have musicality in her DNA. Although her parents weren't professional musicians, her dad did play bass in a boy band. Sham, can you recall the earliest memory you had of when you just knew music is what you wanted to do? I was very little, lying in bed, at got up at about 2, 3 in the morning and I heard this song on the radio and it was like a surreal feeling um, listening to this song and it was called Children Hold On To Your Dreams and I really connected with that song. So that was my first connection when I was like, wow. And then from there, how did you turn your passion into a career? I kind of just went with what I was feeling um, and you know, when I started playing the music and getting lost with, you know, with the tracks and, 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 and finding my genre. And, and it kind of just one thing led to another, really, um, you know, from doing the, the DJ course to finding the genre of, of, of music you want to play. So it's been, it's been quite an amazing journey. How would you best describe your music style? My genre is techno, <laughs> which is electronic dance music. But I also play house music and deep house and tech house. But if you, you know, my, my music of choice is techno, which is great for a girl. What would you list? as the biggest challenge that you have overcome? The challenge is overcoming your fears, overcoming your, your self-esteem issues, overcoming your shyness, and because and, it's, it's a career where you're facing people every day, you've got to be confident, you've, and you can't act that stuff out. You've achieved so much, but I'm sure there's more on your goal list. Could you share with me your next biggest goal? The one goal that I've had from the beginning, and it's stuck in my head, and, and it's not a dream, it's seriously a goal, is to be the first global Indian female techno DJ. There aren't any globally. Three words that best describe Sean. I'm a free spirit, first and foremost, um, and always a child of the universe. Mm. And as my tattoos say, a pure love and golden light warrior, which is Tibetan script. And I always say, my kitty keeps me sane, Jim keeps me healthy, the universe keeps me blessed, and DJing keeps me on purpose. So, Michelle, I'm going to take you back to my office behind those desks and I'm gonna show you a few tricks of the trade and show you how it's done. All right, cool, I'm game for that. I can do that, let's do it. Oh, look how cool this looks. <laughs> so now, Mesh, I'm gonna teach you what I learned the first two months when I did my course. This is the key to mixing electronic dance music. Each track is designed, the last two minutes of each track is designed to beat match the second track in. And it's all in the counting, okay? So you count one to four up to eight to four. So We'll start counting, I'm going to press play. On the ninth count is when you press the play button to the next track. Five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, eight two, three, four, nine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You've done it! <laughs> Woo! I got it! You are so, you can definitely play alongside Does me. that mean I get invited into the DJ box? Absolutely, and carry my bags. Uh, awesome, I'm game for that. <laughs> Should we go before you change your mind? Let's do it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 
Shyam had confidence in Michal's newfound skills to take him off to a local venue where a personal brand of techno beats is guaranteed to get feet on the floor. The memes that Shyam has posted reveal something of her outlook on life and the world. One is a quote by Meryl Streep that says, What makes you different or weird, that's your inner strength. Shyam definitely believes in putting this into practice. Having spent the day with Sham, it's easy to understand why she is so popular with the crowds. Be sure to keep an ear out for her as she continues to work hard to achieve her ultimate goal of becoming a global Indian female techno DJ.